This is part 68 of ASP.NET Core tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to customize the default password complexity rules in ASP.NET Core identity. By default, ASP.NET Core identity does not allow creating simple passwords to protect our application from automated brute force attacks. Now notice, when I try to create a new user account using a simple password like ABC for example, the account creation fails and we see the validation errors related to password complexity. The obvious question that comes to our mind at this point is, where are these default validation rules defined? Well, they are defined in this password options class. Since ASP.NET Core is open source, we can find the source code of this class on their official GitHub repo at this URL. On the GitHub repo, let's search for password options class and we want to search for this class in this ASP.NET Core repository. And here is that class. Notice the required default length is 6 characters, required unique characters is 1, required non-alpha numeric is set to true, required lower case is set to true. So all the default rules are configured here. How do I change these defaults to meet my application requirements? Well, like many things in ASP.NET Core, we do this in configure services method of the startup class. On this iServiceCollection interface, we have configure method. So let's use that method. It takes a generic parameter. I'm going to pass identity options as the argument for the generic parameter. Now let's go to the definition of this class. Notice, in addition to configuring password rules using password options, we can also configure claims identity options, user options, lockout options, sign-in options, etc. We'll discuss configuring some of these options in our upcoming videos in this series. For now, let's go ahead and configure password options. There are several overloaded versions. I'm going to use this overloaded version that takes an action delegate as a parameter. I'm going to pass a lambda here. On this options parameter, which is of type identity options, as you can see from the IntelliSense, we have password property, which we can use to override the default password complexity rules. For example, the default required length is 6 characters, but for our application, we want it to be 10 characters. Similarly, we can override the rest of the properties of the password options class. Notice, by default, the unique characters in the password is set to 1, but for our application, let's change it to 3. This way, we can override all the default rules if we want to. At the moment, we are using configure method. We can also achieve exactly the same thing by using add identity method. In our application, we are already using add identity method to add the required identity services. So to this method, I'm going to pass this same lambda expression as a parameter. Let's format this code a bit. Since we are already overriding the default rules using add identity method, we don't have to do that again using the configure method. Let's run our project and see the behavior we get. Let's try to register a new user. I'm going to specify only two characters for the password. Notice both the rules that we have overridden are in effect password must be at least 10 characters and it also must use at least three different characters. Using this built-in identity options class, we can configure many identity options. We have just seen how to configure password options. In our upcoming videos in this series, we'll discuss configuring some of these other options. That's it in this video. Thank you for listening.